Hey folks, welcome to our channel. Hope you're doing well. We are from BMN Infotech Private Limited, a leading IT company in India. Today we are talk about one of the most crucial topic which is cloud computing, and we discuss about why we use cloud computing and its architecture. Here we discuss further. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing refers to the use of hosted services, such as data storage, servers, databases, networking, and software over the internet. The data is stored on physical servers, which are maintained by a cloud service provider. Computer system resources, especially data storage and computing power, are available on demand, without direct management by the user in cloud computing. Cloud computing architecture. Instead of storing files on a storage device or hard drive, a user can save them on cloud, making it possible to access the files from anywhere, as long as they have access to the web. The services hosted on cloud can be broadly divided into infrastructure as a service, IaaS platform as a service, PaaS, and software as a service, SaaS. Based on the deployment model, cloud can also be classified as public, private, hybrid and community cloud. Further, cloud can be divided into two different layers, namely, front-end and back-end. The layer with which users interact is called the front-end layer. This layer enables a user to access the data that has been stored in cloud through cloud computing software. The layer made up of software and hardware, i.e., the computers, servers, central servers, and databases, is the back-end layer. This layer is the primary component of cloud and is entirely responsible for storing information securely. To ensure seamless connectivity between devices linked via cloud computing, the central servers use a software called middleware that acts as a bridge between the database and applications. Types of cloud computing. There are four types of cloud deployment models. Public cloud. Private cloud. Hybrid cloud. Community cloud. Cloud computing can either be classified based on the deployment model or the type of service. Based on the specific deployment model, we can classify cloud as public, private, hybrid cloud and community cloud. Public cloud. The entire computing infrastructure is located on the premises of the CSP that offers cloud services over the internet. This is the most economical option for those individuals, organizations that do not wish to invest in IT infrastructure. In a public cloud environment, the resources are shared between multiple users who are also called tenants. The cost of using cloud services is determined through the usage of IT resources consumed. Private cloud. Individuals, organizations that choose private cloud gets dedicated infrastructure that is not shared by any other individual organization. The security and control level is highest while using a private network. The costs are borne by an individual organization and are not shared with any other individual organization. Management of private cloud is taken care of by the user and the CSP does not provide any cloud management services. Hybrid cloud. This cloud deployment model includes the characteristics of public cloud and private cloud. Hybrid cloud allows the sharing of data and applications between public and private cloud environments. Organizations mainly use hybrid cloud when their on-premise infrastructure needs more scalability, so they make use of scalability on public cloud to meet fluctuating business demands. Organizations can keep their sensitive data on their private cloud when reaping the power of the public cloud. Community cloud. A community cloud is a cloud infrastructure that is shared by users of the same industry or by those who have common goals. This cloud infrastructure is built after understanding the computing needs of a community as there are many factors including compliances and security policies which need to be included in the community cloud infrastructure. Uses of cloud computing. Although you do not realize you are probably using cloud computing right now, there are many services that we use on a day-to-day -day basis such as sending emails, editing documents, streaming movies, etc. There are high chances that a cloud platform is making all this possible behind the scenes. Today, a variety of organizations ranging from startups to government institutions are embracing cloud technology for the following reasons. Create new apps and services. Store, backup, and data recovery. Hosting websites and blogs. 
stream audio and video, deliver on-demand software services, analyze data for patterns through the integration of advanced technologies, make predictions. The conclusion is, cloud computing brought about a 360-degree shift for IT. The future of cloud will bring better ways to build products and services, serve customers, and make discoveries. Business leaders who embrace the potential of cloud computing are sure to gain a competitive edge in this changing landscape, in the tools and software they choose, the cultures they create, or the business strategies they execute. So I hope guys, you must have understood all these concepts very well. If you are new to the channel then like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell in the comment box if you face any kind of problem. See you guys stay connected with us in the next video and do what you love.